Right. Welcome to this episode. Uh, this episode's all about my hardtail. Uh, look at the sign. <laughs> a winter's hardtail. Okay, that's meant to be uh, <laughs> kind of like a euphemism for a winter's tail. Well, we're at Dudmaston Hall at the moment. Fantastic place. I haven't got the bounce. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm doing a, a video, Ben, about Frankenstein hardtails. So hardtails that people buy and then upgrade to what they want after. Yeah. Which is exactly what I've done to this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad you know where you're going, Ben. Oh, I've blocked a lot of these off. Why? Yeah, so I was quite lucky with this hardtail. I managed to uh, swap a, a gravel bike for this hardtail. It's the Lapier 827 Plus. That's the edge. It's, not the, it's the top of the range right? Lapier hardtail model. Uh, when I got it, I was a little bit disappointed. Very, very heavy. Uh, I've decided to change a few things out on it. A uh, few things as in pretty much everything so, on yeah. it. So bars, stem, forks, uh, grips. I've changed the SLX uh, shifter to an XT shifter, so it's a full XT group set now. I've changed the chainring to a so Bergtech, it was a 34, way. it's now a 30, and it pedals fantastic up the hill. This, this machine is an absolute now, winter beast. It's absolutely shoddling in mud, although this doesn't feel much better. This bit's good. This bit's really good. We didn't anticipate how deep this actually was. We've had rain now for about two weeks, no stop, and everywhere is flooded. Oh. <laughs> Race when he does it. <laughs> that wasn't that great. What you got? Do it the wrong way. <sighs> a real slippery bridge here. Mind you, everything up this morning is really slippery because of these leaves that you don't want to break. And you've got oh, that little bit of nasty up your climb. Well, we've got a couple of bars down. I've noticed with the Frankenstein hardtail, because I've had a shorter stem on, it's so much easier to lose the front wheel on a steep incline. That is the only disadvantage, but I enjoy the downhill more, so it benefits me. So look at the colours, this is autumn in the UK, absolutely beautiful place to live. A bit miserable in the winter, but summer's, you know, they're not too bad, they're as good as most places. Uh, but in the winter, like I say, you really need something like a winter shredding, shredder bike, like a hardtail with some big knobblies on, something that you're not going to care too much about if you're going to fall off and crash it. Uh, something that is going to be easy to fix and easy to maintain. So we've just about had enough at Dudmaston now, uh, we've covered pretty much everything that we want to cover here. Um, there is an XC track which is about three miles long, it, it, it's okay but it's a bit of a slog. So now we're going to cross over onto Cannon Chase and then... Welcome to the UK in winter. Yeah. Two thousand years later, six and a half hours later. Good morning, what's today all about then? It's about my hardtail. So, I bought a hardtail about four months ago, not really been getting on with it, I found it a little bit heavy, I've, I've heavily upgraded, I've upgraded absolutely everything on the hardtail from drive chain, chain rings on the drive chain, to the front fork, uh, the handlebars, the seat, the only thing that's original on the bike is now the frame and the seat post, the dropper seat post that, that I bought with it. Um, I'm using 
used to driving or riding a steel hardtail. This is an aluminium one. So I know I've fully upgraded it. I'm taking it for a ride now. I'm on the way to Canic Chase. And we're just going to document how it feels. And at the end of it, I'm going to know, basically, if I'm going to keep it or if it's going to die. Got to get used to the hard tail again. <laughs> it is, it's so long. Lapier Edge. Possibly the longest bike I've ever had. <laughs> First little section from the Vista Centre at Cabot Chase. You do not want wide bars down here. <laughs> now is that mud guard doing anything because it doesn't feel like it is we're going to go have a stick and show us <laughs> oh these rocks are like glass mate right here we go stegosaurus we love you <sighs> ah! Ah! Okay, right, okay. Gordon's blaming his clips for not being able to do stickers at all. Right, first little bit of downhill on Camp Tank. You don't want to let me down, Camp Tank. Your frame's on the chopping block. <laughs> so uh, this is Gordon's is first time on clips and he was absolutely terrified. <laughs> on your clips are you mate? Yeah, I'm not enjoying them. Not enjoying them. But no. comment down below if Gordon should you know persevere. Oh I said perspire then. And it's pretty yeah, much what you're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> should he scared? Should he persevere and keep it his clips? I'll go back to the the pussy pedals. Oh, <laughs> Getting a little bit of speed up now. Quite controlled. It is quite slick, but as you can see, I'm trying not to go into the into the, the puddles too much. I'm trying to go around. Recording now. Oh, I've missed Dick. Shouldn't really tell you that. No, I've got Dick. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't really say that, should I? <laughs> I've missed Dick. So Tom, Dick, and Harry are yeah. rock garden features that are. It, they're a lot steeper no than it actually looks on tank. camera and people tend to go down them a oh, little bit too tank. slow and that's where accidents happen. Dude, You've just got to crowd. commit again. No front brake obviously, the, the rocks can be a bit slippy so no front brake. And a little back brake when you, when you come off the feature so you don't go hurtling down the, uh, the cliff there. But all in all, you know, you do get used to them and they do become quite easy. I've got no brakes! <laughs> oh, sugar! First day, first day on clips. <laughs> I've got no brakes! I've got no brakes! <laughs> yeah, slow cliff. Absolutely fantastic part of Canic Chase, one of the best. People tend to just drive to Lower Cliff and do Lower Cliff over and over and over again. You can't blame them, it is amazing. Apart from in the winter, it oh, wow. gathers the water so much and it ends up being like a log flu. So Thanks for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. Uh, it kind of maps my kind of journey into mountain biking and through the different trails in the UK. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. It does help the channel out and just press like. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.